hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i create this super low tension sleek braided ponytail um i have been wearing this style for probably the last two and a half three weeks i am relaxed this is probably three weeks post relaxer as somebody who likes to wear a lot of protective styling such as weaves and wigs I understand how important it is that you take a break every now and again, allow your scalp to breathe and um, really take the time to treat your scalp accordingly with oils and moisturizers. Having said that, it could be quite damaging to wear your hair in um, ponytails as well. So it was really important to me that if I was gonna wear this style, I had to make it work for me in a way that there would be no snagging, no breakage, and I wouldn't need to use um, any kind of gel or spritz in my hair. So if you are interested, finding out how I create this style um, with all of the, the above in mind. Please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel and let's get on to the video. So one of the things that I love about this particular technique is how super efficient it is to do in the morning. This is all I do in the morning, guys, before work. Literally, you're seeing it here first. I would have preset my hair the night before with any oils, moisturizers or mousse and then followed up with that foam mesh wrap that you saw earlier and my satin headscarf and gone to sleep with it like that. The only time I actually use the mousse on my hairline is, say, in between relaxers when it's necessary for those areas to be straight and instead of using gel here you can see i'm only using one hairband one hairband guys that's all you need for this entire hair install i bought these hair bands from my local beauty supply store i believe they come in a pack of four and five um they don't have a name as far as i know but they are an elasticated kind of material and they're missing that gold connector um, which i find to be paramount in preventing snagging Remember guys, the more hairbands you use, the tighter that ponytail becomes, the more inclined you're, you are to pull that ponytail tighter. And the whole point of this technique is that it's low intention. created a bun with my natural hair and then covered it with the braiding hair you don't have to if you've got a long enough ponytail you could just braid your ponytail in with the braiding hair as my hair is quite short and i don't want it to become visible within the braid i created a bun and now i am tucking the hair around that bun so that it becomes part of the overall braid 
Um, this hair is from the Janet collection. It is very nice hair to use for this particular style and I would say braiding in general just because it's not as hard and it doesn't tangle as much as your normal beauty supply collecolon hair. Some damage control with a little lip gloss touch up. Don't judge your girl. It's entirely up to you how you want to finish your braid. I chose to secure my braid with an elastic band. This hair is pre-stretched and pre-feathered, which means it has a very natural tethered look at the end, as you can see here. So you could actually braid this hair all the way down to the ends and it actually wouldn't unravel because of the way that it's naturally tethered. This step in the installation, I would say is the most important. And it's actually the reason why you only need one hairband initially. This step um, not only allows you to secure the ponytail and hide the connection, but it also allows you to tighten the ponytail. So all those loose bits of hair, or maybe you felt that the actual ponytail itself wasn't tight enough, this is the step that you can use to sort of neaten everything up, all those loose strays and to tighten the ponytail. But do um, take time guys, the trick here is to be firm and not to pull tightly. There is nothing worse than walking around with a painful ponytail all day long. grips for any strays and prefer not to use gel on my edges to keep them healthy and prevent breakage from the drying effects of gel. 
pomades and waxes I find tend to weigh down my relaxed hair and I prefer a little movement and a little bit more of a natural look. You of course can adapt this part to your liking. from me guys thank you so much if you stayed to watch until the end this is my first youtube video like this video subscribe share turn on those post notifications so you know when i will be posting next and let me know down in the comments what techniques you use for a low tension braided ponytail on relaxed hair and i will see you in my next video love you bye